Well, how did we get here to hopping kangaroos? I thought the uh, the video thumbnail said hopping bunnies. Well, we're going to get there. But anyway, I blame April Wilkerson for making me uh, make the kangaroo. This was uh, my late night last night. And if you want to make this kangaroo, all I did was I googled the uh, hopping kangaroo and wombat morrison. It's all over the internet. Just Google hopping kangaroo, and you will uh, you'll see that picture, and you just print it out. It's it's all over. So uh, <laughs> that's what I came up with last night, and I've been playing with it this morning. But uh, obviously, you didn't make a video. No need to. But then I got digging deeper, as you do, and uh, found something else. And I'll definitely there'll be a link for this in the uh, description. But I came up. I didn't come up with it. I found this. Another free plan. And I'll put the link for the guy. It's an Indonesian uh, scroll saw plans site, and he offers this for free. So I thought I didn't make a video of this one. You're welcome, <laughs> but I can't not make a video of the little tiny bunny. So some of the things I don't have, but well, you can make this out of three eighths to three quarter plywood. Uh, I use pine. This is just a pine board, and uh, I'll see what I can scrounge up for this one. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's just the the working. So you can, if you make the you can make the bunny three quarter, you can make his legs half inch. No matter, but uh, yeah, go through my junk and see what I got. But you need a quarter inch uh, dowel or close to it, and uh, eighth inch dowels or close to it. And I say or close to it because I don't believe these are eighth inch dowels from the craft store. They're just little like skewer type sticks, craft sticks. And my dowel is uh, yeah, it might be close to a quarter, but you need those dowels and matching drill bits. And a piece of wood. They recommend washers. I have no washers and there is no stores for me to get washers. You know if you're watching this in the future this is the uh, the corona age and uh, everything is shut down so if you're from the future watching this there was a time when you couldn't buy anything that you wanted so anyway we make do with what we got and uh, let's make a bunny. Coming up with the, uh, the theme of not going to the store. This is uh, I got some old. I don't even know what that's from. Some recycled uh, piece of walnut from something. But basically, I'm going to take this uh, little cutout here. You can see that's uh, pretty simple. Got lots of room. This is a nice small project. Now you can cut that out with your. Uh, you can get that with a coping saw, jigsaw, band saw, scroll saw, whatever you got. And uh, I'm going to get some glue and I'm just going to stick that paper right to the board. If you got double sided tape, you can use that. I've got uh, Elmer's mounting spray for the uh, nozzle will stick. As you can see, I'll spray it. I'll take my finger off. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Every time. Got to clean that off. but. I never do. All right, there's my thing stuck on there. Now, before you get too far, it's a good idea to take your uh, ice pick <laughs> or whatever you got and mark those holes just in case you lose your paper. I'm just going to mark all the centers of the holes that are there. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. The good thing about uh, using a scroll saw 
is very little sanding very smooth but anyway we're going to uh, take our dowels match up the drill bits and uh, drill the holes so the quarter inch here. one that's the uh, the body hole now that needs a little bit of play so if you have a bit that's maybe a, a 32nd 16th bigger do it I just do the old uh, drill bit wobble and uh, just make it a hair a hair bigger so that it can it can flow freely in there where it's going to be tight in the legs so I'm going to drill these holes if you're using a drill make sure it's nice and straight I'm going to throw in a drill press and uh, drill them up And on that body, remember we wanted that, uh, that center, the body hole, a hair bigger. So if you don't have a bigger drill bit, give it that wobble. But you want that to, to be free in there. And lots of, uh, not lots, but enough play. Alright? Whereas it's going to be super tight in the legs. As far as not having the, uh, the washers to go between the legs and the body, let me show you what I did on this one. Is I just gave it a space. Yeah, you know a good uh, a good sixteenth on each side but what happens is when these legs want to kick past that's why the, the space is needed so that it doesn't catch on the front leg so if you look at this one here you can see how I just kind of angled that a little bit and that's just a matter of uh, taking a bit of sand your sander or sandpaper or knife and just just giving a little wedge just so that these legs with the space can't hit that front part so that it can flow through like that. You see that? I'm just going to peel off the paper, give it a quick little sanding, take all the edges off of it, and uh, we're ready to put it together. Just rough cut them, you know, give them lots of space. You can cut it off after. And uh, yeah, we will uh, cut these and we'll glue one, we'll glue them into one leg. The fun thing about the walnut is I'm using a lighter color dowel, so it's actually going to be cool little joints that you can will really shine on the dark walnut. I want to go over this quickly. Can you see that little, little angle in the front feet there? So if I put something straight against it, you see how that creates focus? See how that creates a little little space there? And that's just so that if there's a little bit of play there, <laughs> that foot can't kick the front leg. Alright. One of my my legs. Get some some glue in there. Oh sloppy, sloppy. Anyway, I'm gonna push that uh, dowel through. I'm going to give it a little bit of extra on the other side. Same with the small one. Alright. Lots of play, no matter. Alright. Stick that through there. You can let that dry first if you want. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Going through the bunny. Alright, I'm just going to do the same thing and put this leg on this side. I would say a dime. A dime, thickness of a dime, space. And free, free flowing. Alright, now we're just going to let that glue set and uh, let's clean up in playtime. Alright, there's our guy all sanded flush. Uh, I like that. I like that contrast color. Looks good. Alright, now from this point on, I try a whole bunch of different things to try to make my bunny work. And I could not make my bunny work. But I came up with a, a solution and uh, it works now. 
I thought it was getting too much purchase on the bottom of the feet and it was catching and uh, it was sliding. I couldn't get the angles right. And this bunny is not proven like that kangaroo plan is. And I was just trying to tweak it and going back and forth. And I came up with the simplest solution to the whole thing. And it's ridiculous. It's a total cheat. But I'm going to share with you. You would never see it if I didn't show you. But I took a little piece of sandpaper. And I super glued it on the bottom of the front feet. Because that walnut... I mean, it's it's too smooth, too shiny, too much slip. So now the feet can catch, and it gives you it gives it that stop that it needs, so the legs can swing out. And this is the slowest bunny ever. <laughs> Well guys, I'm going to call the, a video now. I put some oil on the uh, fastest bunny in the west. <laughs> anyway, that sandpaper trick was fantastic. I'm so happy with that. That just made the project so much better. I wasted a lot of time just fiddling, trying to figure out how to, how to make it work. But uh, that's all it was. It just, the front legs weren't getting that purchase. So that the back legs could kick out. So it's a good design. Kangaroo is probably better, faster for sure. But uh, anyway, fun little project. Have some fun with it. And uh, links are in the description. I'm just playing, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.